Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mike from ProGaming.com and I'm here with Husky. And so, first things first, Husky, how do you feel about StarCraft uh, Brood War to StarCraft 2? What is the differences that you like and stuff like that? Like, is it, do you feel that it's, uh, it's growing like in popularity compared to Brood War and stuff like that? How do you yeah, feel? Um, definitely. StarCraft 2 has been majorly successful. I was following StarCraft 1 for a really long time. Yeah. And um, really the main difference that I like about StarCraft 2 is how easy, that much easier it is to play. Um, the AI on like your miners and minor stuff, like your attacking units, is so much better. Yeah. Um, and so it's it's much easier. It's more entry level where everyone can get in. Still almost impossible to master. And so that means that the games are more kind of a mind game. So yeah. when people are playing against each other, it's not can I you know do everything to overcome the bad AI. Um, it's all how can I trick my opponent and get an advantage. Exactly. Um, that is my the thing that I've loved about StarCraft II since day one. And as far as the popularity, I mean, all my friends are into it now. They were never really into Brood War. And pretty much everyone I know loves StarCraft. So it's uh, definitely the game is very strong. It seems to be growing. There's a lot of cool upcoming tournaments and stuff. So I'm really excited. That's awesome. Uh, so next thing is, how do you feel about the balance between you know the three different races? Do you feel like one is, is you know, how it was like, oh, Terran, and you know, all the, all, all that, you know, grinding whining about how Terran and now it's kind of pushed towards Protoss a little bit with the Colossus and stuff like that. How do you feel? I mean, do you think they need to fix anything? Do you, need, do you think they need to patch anything as of right now? Um, I think it's kind of like in StarCraft 1, like the best example for me is like Vultures. Everyone thought they were the, the most cost-effective unit in the game and overpowered mm -hmm. and all that. But it, it, they didn't they didn't change it for a really long time over the last couple of years. And you know, it, it all works itself out. People figure out how to do really good against uh, the stuff. So I think Blizzard's really smart to take it slow and make sure that the changes they're making, um, they mean them and not just, you know, this build works really good on this map, so we have to change this about the race. Um, and especially I think we'll learn once the GSL maps are starting to use more, which are big open maps, um, a lot different than say Steps of War where the rush distances are non-existent. Um, that's one thing to keep in mind for balance and a lot of the old ladder maps, they're cycling them out and putting in new maps. And I really think that maps affect gameplay a lot more than if this unit does at five extra damage or not. And so I think that's something to really focus on, not just if you're losing on Metalopolis to Terran every time or whatever. Um, so Blizzard's really good at balancing games, and I really trust them in this. And a lot of people get upset that they take their time, but that's how they make good stuff. And so um, hopefully hopefully it works out, especially with the new maps. Yeah, especially with the new expansions. I guess they have two more coming out. Yeah, and the expansion's too, coming so out, yeah. they can fix a lot of things that are broken, if any. Yeah, so, totally. Um, and, with, and, and on this topic of the GSL maps, I mean, I, I feel like it's a brand new game. And yeah. When I play it, I'm just like, wow, this is. I feel like it's a brand new game. I'm not bored anymore. I don't really see a lot of the rushes and a lot of the same tactics you totally. know people still use so how do you think that's going to affect like uh, tournament plays we're going to see a lot longer games and right. stuff like that especially with all the expansions so, yeah. yeah it's going to make a huge difference those of you those of you who followed brood war right towards the end mm -hmm. most of the maps i'd say 90 percent of them were huge maps and um, that added a lot of cool gameplay because you could still rush if you're really good. You could proxy stuff or you could play more of a macro style, which is more risky. And um, some of the first experience I had on those maps casting them was with Day 9 for the uh, tournament we're doing here at PAX. And they're really fun. Like just casting them is so much more yeah. fun because Koreans have been doing it for 12 years. Even with the yeah. new map editor, they already have figured out how to do crazy stuff um, with the, just with the features. And it makes it so much more playable because um, one of the problems that people were having was getting walled in by Protoss with just two pylons and a cannon and a Zerg. And really, is that skill, is it very fun to watch or cast? Uh, yeah, exactly. I don't know. But so the, the Koreans are like, okay, well, we'll fix this. We'll put a neutral supply depot there that's on the lowered state. It's not blocking anything except for getting walled in by your opponent. And that's just the kind of stuff they innovate all the time. And it is like a new game. And that's yeah. why a lot of people are like, oh, it's imbalanced. You know, all this, a lot of stuff needs to change. Just wait until you see the new maps because they're really cool. Yeah. And uh, it, the, 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 the builds and the play style are completely different and a lot more fun to cast. I love it. I nerd out every time I cast a game on those. So I'm really looking forward to the new maps. That's awesome. And now, uh, now you personally, what have you been up to? Are you going to be uh, doing any, like, any event, commentating on any events? Or what are you, what are you up to? Yeah, pretty much. I'm super busy, full-time StarCraft and gaming stuff, basically. Um, I'm here at PAX, of course, hoping to do PAX Prime, whenever that is, and um, hoping to do the MLG events. I'll be at WonderCon, BlizzCon, Comic-Con, and then pretty much any other nerd event that I can uh, get myself to. Yeah, yeah so my, my schedule's already busy. Plus, I'm, of course, just doing my channel. I still do yeah, stuff with the Game Station. There's going to be a lot of videos coming out on there that people haven't really seen yet. Um, it should be fun. So just anything anything nerdy that I can do, it's fun, and I love it. Awesome. All right, so final question for you is who is your who is your favorite player to cast or watch? Like, who are you most excited? Like, when you see a gameplay, you're like, wow. 
Yeah, um, I know it's unoriginal, but me and the little one are really good fa uh, friends. I talk to him all the time. He uh, hooks me up with replays all the time, and he's fun to watch because not only is he good and he's innovative, which he's known for, but since he plays random, it's like watching three different players. So he's kind of like an all-in-one package. Um, yeah. I love the guy. And uh, back in the Brood War days, I love C, um, Stork, and Bisu. And uh, so I, I still I still check in on those so guys every now and then. Um, My so, yeah. favorite is, is Huck. There you go, I man. Mean, yeah, Huck is, you gotta look out for Huck Norris. He's, Huck he's crazy good. Yes, he's great. Well, thanks again. Appreciate it. Yes, thanks, man. Thank you. So, uh, again, my name is Mike. This is Husky. Make sure to check out his channel for more commentaries. And for more uh, PAX coverage, please check out ProGaming.com.